Hello and welcome to this HubSpot TV tip. I'm Anam Hussein. Today we're going to talk about how to analyze Facebook insights to improve your content strategy. Your Facebook presence is a haven for well-crafted status updates, photos, and links. It's the ultimate content sharing platform. But in order to understand what content is actually benefiting your business, you need to take the time to analyze your Facebook insights to capitalize on what works and wave au revoir to what doesn't. Problem is, if you've ever exported data from Facebook Insights, you understand the overwhelming nature of what you receive. With multiple sheets and columns of never-ending data points, it can be hard to know what you're looking at, let alone what the data means. Many of the data points are repetitive or provide no way to improve your marketing. This tutorial will delve into exactly what you need to extract and analyze in order to learn how to improve your Facebook content strategy. So let's get started. First, we need to export the data. Go to your Facebook Insights tool and click on the Export Data button above the graph and to the right. You're going to want to choose the following settings. Page level data in an Excel format. The time frame should be contingent upon how often you post a day. For this video, we'll click just one month so we're not looking at too many data points. As you can see, there are multiple columns that go on and on and on, full of various data points. If you look on the bottom, there's multiple sheets that continue on with various other data points. It's hard to decipher exactly what you need. So what we want to focus on is the key metrics sheet. We're going to get rid of daily people talking about this, weekly people talking about this, 28 days people talking about this, daily page stories, weekly page stories, 28 days page stories, all of these data points are basically just telling you who is talking about your brand and who is generating stories off of them. So we're going to delete these. Total lifetime likes. That is an important number because you want to know exactly how many people like your page. The number of new likes and unlikes are not necessary for this video, but your daily friends of fans are. So first you have the number of people who like your page, but then you have all of the people who are friends with those likes who could have potentially seen your content because it at some point was either in their ticker, their feed, or on one of their friends' feeds. Daily engaged users, weekly engaged users, 28 days engaged users, daily total reach, all of these numbers all the way down. It would take me eons to explain why they are irrelevant. We're just going to keep on going, keep on going. Impressions is just a PR term that shows you the number of people who potentially saw that content. Again, it's repetitive and not necessary. So we're just going to keep on going, keep on going. Daily logged in page views. I mean, if they're not logged into Facebook, how are they seeing your content anyway? So that is another useless post. We're going to keep on going. Organic versus paid reach. Unless you're heavily advertising, you don't need to look at that. We're going to keep on going by over these excessive impression numbers. Keep on going until we get to daily page consumption. That is what we're looking at. So I already have that first column clicked. I'm going to click shift, click here. They're all selected and goodbye and good riddance. The reason we want the daily page consumption is as Facebook states clearly right underneath, it's the number of clicks on any of your content. These clicks do not include the people who clicked your like button. So again, here we have the people who like your page. Here we have the people who have clicked on anything from any of the content that you generated on your page. That is when you want to know. Are people clicking your content? Are they engaging with your content? Are they doing something with what you're posting? If not, well then you're posting for no reason, aren't you? So anything app of daily page consumptions, we're just going to click here, scroll all the way down to the end of this, shift and delete. Now we have three simple data points after all of those. We're just going to do Command X or Control if you have a Mac and move the daily page consumption up number over one column. Here we're going to create a new column called Total, excuse me, Total Daily Reach. From here we're going to calculate the number of people who could have possibly seen your content, as in the daily friends of fans and the total likes. It might be easier if you want to understand better to do lifetime total fans. So these are all the fans of your page and these are all the friends of those fans. So we're going to do equal sign sum 
in your Excel or even if you're working in a Google spreadsheet, should give you this sum equation. You're gonna click on the daily friends of fan number and then you click plus, I made an equal sign, plus the lifetime total fans and enter. Now, instead of doing that for each row, because you'll likely have a lot more data points than what we have for this one month's time, do copy and just extend this all the way down to the bottom. There you go. As you can see, every single row has been summed up and you are good to go. We're going to highlight the date and we're going to highlight the daily total reach. Click on charts, click on line chart. Your Excel might look a little different if you have the older version and click stacked line. Now we have a nice little chart here that so shows us exactly how our fan page fans are growing. You can label it if you so choose. So now we are seeing the growth. But what is causing this growth? What are you doing on your page that is helping this increase? Or what is causing it to decrease if this was reversed? So now we're going to create another chart by again highlighting the date and highlighting daily page consumptions. Again, charts, line chart, and the stacked line. We're going to go here. Now this chart is much, much more interesting, especially as a marketer. So it's one thing to go ahead and pull your data and to make these pretty charts so you can go and present in meetings, but it's another thing to understand what exactly is happening. It seems that there was a high point here, but then all of a sudden, slowly, 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 engagement is going down. People aren't clicking on your comment, and you're finally at this low point for which at HubSpot we had realized this, which is why suddenly you see this spike. But had we not taken the time to look at our insights, we would have been slowly going down and slowly decreasing and not even understanding that's happening. But then all of a sudden we addressed it. We try to figure out by looking at this content, what were we posting on each of these individual days that are reflected here to understand what content worked and what didn't. And what did we do? We started posting the content that had this peak here and slowly, 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 boop, boop. There we go again. Information, but you really need to spend time looking at what is happening on what day and understanding what you can do to change that, what you can do to improve upon that. I hope you found this insightful. For more marketing tips, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.